before the season begins. So you have teams like the Pacers, uh, or not the Pacers, uh, the Thunder. You have teams like the Thunder. You have teams like uh, the Jazz. Um, uh, Mo Harkless is supposed to be getting bought out by the Houston Rockets. So essentially, it it boils down to those three options. And Mo Harkless could end up getting, or is, is expected to get bought out. Um, Mo Harkless, 6'9", seven foot wingspan. Again, he's the D, <laughs> but not the three. Um, yeah. I personally think we need that more. We need, I don't think we're going to have a problem scoring. I think we need defense. Um, especially wing defense. We need that big body to guard, you know, the the Kevin Durant's, the Paul George's, the Kawhi Leonard's, yeah. stuff like that more than we need the shooting. Um, but what is your take on uh, Mo Harkless? Uh, again, savvy vet, but he's still young, only 29 years old. Uh, he can, you know, he's, he's known for a defender, stuff like that. What do you think? I think, I mean, because right now, so how many, how many, in his contract, how many, what are we signing for? Oh, uh, we'd get him for if he gets bought out, it'd be the vet minimum. So you basically get him for like his vet minimum would be like two and a half million, something like that. It would just be one year. They're, they're just going to do a one year deal. They're not going to ruin cap flex flexibility for him. So basically, be one one year, probably like two and a half million, somewhere around there. one year for two and a half. I I don't know. I don't know. I I, I it might be worth it. Might be worth it. Um, I see. I think it's the opposite, though. I think that we're gonna have not trouble, but I think I, f- I feel like we need more scores. I, I feel like the defensive is just gonna come from like we're gonna be that team that is just like that kind of scrappy defense. You know, I feel like we. I feel like we're gonna need the scoring, and we need to focus on that more than I think we're gonna have trouble on defense. Okay. I. Uh, I look. I think we have the potential to be an elite defense. And so I, I've talked about, like, I could see the way that we guard, like, the Kevin Durants and the and the Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, guys like that, as, like, through com- like through community. So, like, we have, like, JTA. We have uh, uh, Troy Brown Jr. We have um, Walker. Walker has, like, a 6'10 wingspan, guys like that. So, like, what I could see is, like, we play, we play, say we play the, the Clippers, right? Uh, Kawhi plays the, Kawhi plays the four a lot. So Anthony Davis can guard Kawhi, but then Paul George, yeah. it's, it's not easy to do in a regular season game, but say we meet them in the playoffs, yeah. um, which is what is what, what you really want Mo Harkless for is the playoffs. Um, just cause you want that, you want a guy that can actually make it difficult, but without a guy like Mo Harkless, then very likely what happens is, you know, LeBron, it's just you're always throwing fresh legs at Paul George. Yeah. And you wear them down that way. You know, so you, you throw, you throw, uh, you know, Le- LeBron guards him. And then 10 minutes later, Walker guards him. And then 10 minutes later, you know, JTA guards him. And 10 minutes yeah. later, you know, Troy Brown guards him. And and the thing is, is like, like I said, it's hard to do that in one game. But over a seven-game series, it's really easy to start wearing guys yeah. down. Basically, the greatest example of this is like what teams do to to Jokic on the Denver Nuggets, the Joker. Yeah, teams they know you're not going to stop him. Guy after guy, yeah, he's too good. But we'll just throw a bunch of guys at him. That's what the Lakers did when we beat them uh, in the in the in the uh, Western Finals to get to the NBA Finals. We we just we threw Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, Anthony yeah. Davis, and we just kept alternating them, rotating them. And by like game five, he was just exhausted. Like he could barely he could barely yeah. do anything. You know, and that's that's what I could see the Lakers doing against like a a, a Clippers team or like you know a, a Nets team, something like that, where you're just you're throwing fresh bodies constantly mm-hmm. at him and yeah. you're just wearing them down over a long series. Um, you know, you're never going to stop a superstar. You know what I mean? You're never no. going to just shut him down. But, uh, yeah, it's just – it's it's one of those things. Like, uh, I, I think he could be a, a solid piece. Um, but I, I don't think our defense is going to be terrible. I, I do think we're going to have a top – at least top 10 defense. I, I want us to be somewhere in the 5-7 to seven range. I think if we're in the 5-7 to seven range defensively, 
I think we might be one of the better teams in the league. Cause I think we'll, yeah. like we were top five in fast break points and uh, pacing last year. And we were terrible last year and we were old last year. We we're probably going to be number one or two this year. And then yeah. you give us a defense. We're probably going to score 116. I mean, we scored 114 last season. We're probably going to score 116 plus this season. And if we're yeah. top five to seven defense, that means we're probably holding teams to like 110 points. So we're going to win more games than we're going to lose. So that's what it's going to come down to. But that's why that's why I like the idea of a guy like Mo Harkless is because I don't think we're going to have a problem scoring. We're going to be just – we're going to be run and gun. We're going to be yeah. – it's going to be about getting stops and getting out in transition. You got guys like Schroeder, Kendrick Nunn, uh, Russell Westbrook. LeBron James, who can just, boom, get the rebound. Anthony Davis even can grab it from the board and, and run it down court. Uh, like All of that. So I think that's going to be where we kind of live on, where we where we eat on our, our, our points-wise. And so that's why I think like a guy like Mo Harkless would be great in that regard because, you're yeah, you're not going to get the three, but – you get that big body, and you still have all the other guys that you could still throw at Paul George and stuff. But now you got a guy that's you know if he's quick, it would work. Yeah, well, you got a guy that's that's just he's a big body that can just you know wear on top of the the smaller guys wearing them down. You also have the big body to wear them down, finish them off, stuff like that. You keep your you keep your big body fresh. Everyone else not. I just I don't know. I, I think. Uh, I think it depends. I mean, granted, he has to want to come to the Lakers, stuff like that. But I think it's at least an option to look out for. Um, but next option that I think could be a real possibility. Um, again, outside of Mo Harkless, all these other ones are just guesses. Mo Harkless yeah. is the only one that's been reported to have been bought out. But Rudy Gay. So Rudy Gay mm. on the Utah Jazz. Rudy Gay very likely will get bought out. There's already – there's been reports for a while that he's yeah. that he wants out of Utah that he's not happy that even before the whole Gobert and and uh, Mitchell trade and stuff like that um they're a Which young they're a young rebuilding team so yeah. they have no need for him they're not going to play him over the young guys uh Rudy is older you yeah. know and uh but he does have the size still he is a vet savvy vet um, he is more – he's not as good of a defender as Mo Harkless, but he gives you more of the balance of the 3 and D um, as opposed to just kind of the, the D um, or yeah. just the 3. Uh, so I do think he would be a very well-balanced type player. Um, he's not the, the veteran. Guard. No, like, I, I think it would be good because he's a veteran too. So, I mean. Yeah, and I really want a vet, a vet wing uh, just – for those guys that, like I mentioned earlier, like that you have to yeah. guard, you want somebody that has the experience that has been there, that's savvy enough to, to keep up. Um, so Rudy, I wouldn't mind Rudy. Um, again, he, he would just get a vet minimum. He's not going to get more than that. It would just be a one-year vet minimum deal. I do think yeah. he's a guy that would come to the Lakers. Uh, but what do you think? I mean, obviously he's not the grit and grind Rudy Gay anymore, you know, from the, from the Grizzly yeah. days. But I do think he could be serviceable enough. Um, what do you think of Rudy Gay? Is that somebody that you, you'd be more interested in? Well, I would more interested in yes, and I would like to see him play with Anthony Davis because um, just the size alone. And I think honestly, if we could figure out a way to, like you said, kind of stop the Giannis, because that's what's going to really, really, really like if we get to let's say the let's say we get to the finals and we have to go up against like. A Giannis, you know, you're gonna need all the defensive tools you could get, all the veteran skill set, you know, the mindset. Um, it will help out in the long run if we could if we could get Rudy. I, I like Rudy. I like Rudy more, a lot more. Okay. Yeah, I uh I do. I mean, like I said, his age and just the type of player he has been the last few years is a little concerning to me. But you're not gonna you're not asking him to play 40 minutes. You know what I mean? Like he's not a guy that you're you're bringing in to to like take over games and stuff like that. You know, he's a guy that you're you're bringing in to just be that savvy vet. But at 36 years old, <laughs> that's that's rough. Um, yeah. You know, I see. Uh, 
you know, Bagsky says uh, Rudy Gay is more like Trevor Ariza last year. And that's my concern. Um, you know, like Trevor Ariza, you know, it was it was great to get him. It was a nice story, all that stuff. But then you actually saw him play, and he just he just saw the age. And that would be my problem yeah. with Rudy Gay. Because at least uh, Harkless, Harkless is – he's at least 29, so he's still young. Yeah. So – I think he'd give you more, but Gay also gives you more shooting and consistency, I guess. Um, yeah. It's just what, how much does Rudy have left in the tank? You know, does he have enough to, to yeah. ride out a season, um, well, to, to come in and give you quality minutes, stuff like that? Let's or is see it? what he averaged last season. Well, what did he average uh, last season? Oh, no, it wasn't a lot. He averaged like, I don't know, it was like eight points, something like that. Uh, Ooh, something geez. like that. He, yeah, he paid. I mean, he played like 19 minutes or something along those lines. Uh, yeah, I was like, I think he played like 18, 19 minutes a game, average like, yeah, just under 10 points. But he shot like 30, what was it, 35% or something like that from three. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, again, if he could give you that, that's, I mean, he shoots yeah. basically league average um, from three. If he could give you that shooting, give you that defense, um, just, Again, I, you're probably not going to ask him to give you as much production as like Utah was asking. Um, yeah. But I think uh, you know, can, can he give you can he give you those eight points in like twelve minutes of play? You know, yeah. something like that. Like that's the thing. And, I would hope so. Yeah. Well, and Rudy could also give you. Rudy could also play uh, the the four spot. You know, because he's got size again. He's a six eight. Yeah. So he's yeah. yeah so. So he can play the four if need be. It's just, uh, yeah. If he wants to go with a smaller lineup, would you play him at the? Would you play him at the five? Yeah, like no, like if that no, he's, not, he's not. He's uh, not like some guy like winning Gabriel. You could like winning Gabriel. Yeah. You could because he's got the athleticism. He's got the length stuff like that. Uh, like you see a lot of guys nowadays that are like six eight. You know, even some guys that are like six seven. Um, that uh, that play center, just because. Uh, you know, they have the length and they have the athleticism. Like Mo Harkless, I think you could probably get away with Mo Harkless because with that seven foot wingspan, he still has some athleticism, stuff like that. You know, if you're playing, say, yeah. the Warriors and they have Draymond, I was gonna say and, that, yeah. and they have Draymond at five, you know, you could probably you could play you could play Mo Harkless against him uh at the five and have a match up that way. Um, but Rudy, I'd be a little concerned. Uh just one is age, his his length. Uh he doesn't yeah. have I I don't remember his wingspan off the top of my head. Let me uh, uh, let me uh, check that out real quick. Uh, but yeah, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess he does have the wingspan. It says he has a damn. It says he has a seven three wingspan. <laughs> so Jeez. so I mean, I guess maybe he could. I guess maybe you're right. Um, he's not the like I said. He's not the freak athlete he once was. But yeah, no, uh, no. no. Yeah, I didn't know his wingspan was that long. I thought I thought he was. I, I knew it was over his height, but I thought it was under seven feet. Well, he's got a six three wingspan, so he's got a he's got a good wingspan. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't be. Well, that's what I asked because you're you're seeing a lot of teams go to the smaller like yeah. the smaller lineup, even as a reserve lineup. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I think I mean it's possible, um, especially with that wingspan. He probably could. I just think it depends on the matchups. But again, I'd be concerned with his just his age. How much are you asking him to do that? Um, but I, I think you could get away with that. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't know he had a seven three wingspan. It's pretty, it's pretty lengthy. Uh, I, like, I wouldn't be mad. Like, if we got a notification right now that the Lakers, that Rudy Gay's getting buy, bought out and going to the Lakers, like, I'd be like, okay, that was that was a solid pick. Like, you know, I just, uh, I just kind of lean towards Mo Harkless a little more because I just, yeah. I just think he gives you. He gives you all the things that Rudy Gay gives you outside of the shooting, but it's not like Rudy Gay shoots 38, 39%, you know, something yeah. like that. You know, like if Rudy Gay shot like the lights out, I'd be like, okay, like, yeah, <laughs> I do that. We're, but, yeah. you know, Harkless, 31, 32% from, from three. Can, can Harkless, being with LeBron and Anthony Davis, because can he get to like 34%, 33%? To where he's like he's still not at league average, but he's close to where like teams actually have and he's to respect it. Yeah, and he's yeah. younger. Uh I just that's that's that would be my only thing. Um, but 
outside of that, um, here, let's uh, any any chance David Nwaba uh, gets bought out? I uh, I don't I don't know. I mean, it just depends because he went to uh, OKC in that trade. Um, OKC has to buy out like three guys or has to unload three guys, so he may be a possibility. But my problem with uh, Nwaba is like one. I mean, we already had we had him on the team, which is kind of funny. Uh, you know, a couple years ago. Um, but also. He's not. He doesn't have the size that uh, that we are looking for from the wing depth, um, which is my which would be my other concern. You know, because he's he's a shooting guard. He's six five. That's like all we have on this Lakers team is a bunch of like six four, six five, six six guys. Yeah. Like we need we need somebody that's like six eight, six nine. You know, even like a six seven guy, something like that. You know, somebody with some if you size. Could get another like Anthony Davis, like uh, not skill set, but like height. You just even height wise. But yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, I don't think we need another center. People have said like, why don't we look at like Demarcus Cousins or stuff like that? Like, I don't think we do. Another another real option that doesn't get talked about enough is Winning Gabriel, who is already on the Lakers. He's six yeah. nine. He was great for the Lakers last year, although it was a small sample size. Um, the only thing the Lakers told him was they told him when the season was over, like, if you want us to renew your contract and opt you into this team, we need you to be an efficient three point shooter. Yeah. And the Lakers, the Lakers took him, took his contract back this season. So I would imagine that the Lakers did their due diligence and actually made sure that he could shoot before they just said, okay, we'll just give you the contract. We'll just take your word for it. Um, well, yeah. But, According to Winning Gabriel, what Winning Gabriel said this entire offseason, all he did was just watch tape to figure out how he could be effective next to LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Westbrook, which I love to hear. And then, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. And that's then he huge. said all he did was just shoot uh, like a thousand jumpers a day or whatever. So if he can, um, he's, because many of us think like, you know, that he's going to play the four or small ball five, which, is what he's played basically his whole career so far. Um, but if he can knock down the three at an efficient clip, then there's our three and D way. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, we, need, we need to draw plays. We need to set his screens. We need to like have him come. Yeah, no, yeah absolutely. At, especially at six, nine and his athleticism and just like his engine. He's just a high. And nobody's going to expect it. Nobody's yeah. going to expect that. Nobody. And they're just going to leave him open. Like, well, yeah, I mean, especially after the great. last few years. Um, yeah. just the way he's the way he's performed but yeah i mean he's always been a, a power forward guy um but you know he's uh i do i think he's a guy that could really surprise a lot of people i really do i think he's a guy that could really come in earn a spot earn a role and uh you know be be effective um be efficient um you know he's still young 25 so there's a lot of room and upside for him still extremely young and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's somebody that's at least worth the discussion, at least worth mentioning. Um, as I almost said, uh, I think the Lakers' plan uh, is to play Lonnie at the three. So, as of right now, based on the information that we've gotten, uh, Schroeder and Westbrook – or, well, Westbrook – we'll do it in order. Westbrook and Schroeder are supposed to play guard – are supposed to play the point guard position. Uh, Nunn and uh, uh, Beverly are supposed to play shooting guard. Shooting and guard, then yeah. – Austin Reeves and Lonnie Walker are fighting for that backup small forward spot. So Lonnie, Lonnie is definitely going to play. And I do think Lonnie is going to win that just because of his size and length. Um, and they gave him that mid-level exception for a reason, <clears throat> you know, which a lot of people were surprised by. Um, yeah. So I don't think he's going to, I don't think they did that to have him be the, you know, fourth or fifth guy off bench and as a small forward um again he has 610 wingspan so he's got length um and then the whole three three ball he's he's last year he wasn't great from three he was like 33 34 percent something like that yeah but he's had years where he shot like 40 percent so yeah. can he get back i'm not saying he has to get to 40 percent but can he get to like 36 percent because now he's a, above league average like that would be great you know, um, but I do. I think I definitely think he plays a lot of the the three spot 